So hello fellow coin collectors and in today's video, well every Monday I'm going to put videos up of coins that I have for sale so people know what I'm selling. Uh, basically this is what I've been doing for a few years. Uh, I buy and sell but mainly I just buy for a collection and I just resell the coins that I have in excess. And there's all the Indonesian coins I have in excess. So what I have is the first coins, 1951, 10 cent. I don't have any one, five or 25 cent to sell. I just have these ones. Uh, the 1951 had a mintage of 250 million. It's so quite a common coin. So in this condition, uh, this is a nice condition to have uh, for your collection. It has Jawi, Indonesia. And in this condition, you know, pretty much not worth much. So I'll just sell these for, for a whole bundle. So they're the 1951. And then we have a lot of 1954 coins. This one has a lower mintage of 50 million. It's still quite high for a coin collection. And these should be quite easy to get if uh, you look on eBay. So these are minted in uh, the Netherlands, in the Utrecht Mint. And I think they closed that down because they coin circulation around the world is pretty much going down in the richer countries, which have a well developed internet system. Uh, in third world countries, are probably still rely on cash quite a lot. And on the back, we have the code of arms of Indonesia. So, in this condition, you know, probably worth about a dollar or two. Uh, so that's why I sell them as a lot with other coins. And this is probably the nicest condition that you want to get. So, 10 cent, there's the aluminium. And they are to go. Then we have a bunch of 50 cent coins. So these are the copper nickel. These were copper nickel up until 19... 59, uh, 58 should I say, when they changed them to aluminium, so a large aluminium coin, and I don't have any of those for sale. Uh, for the bastard riding the motorbike in the background, if you can hear it, have to do something about those people with the police. Okay, so this is the 1952, and 1952 had the Jawi on the back, which is just uh, Malay in Arabic script. And Dipa Nagara. And if we have a look at the 1955, you can see they took it off. So 1952, what's the mintage? I need to get it up. So there's about the same size as a five cent coin. And the mintage for these ones is a hundred million. Ooh. So these ones uh, should be pretty cheap to get. And they are quite a nice coin. Uh, I think I have them for like five bucks, but I'm gonna take those off and just put them as a lot, probably four or five coins for five bucks. Uh, we'll see, uh, depending on what people would like. But I have quite a few of these coins and they come in various grades. So the grades you Probably would be better off getting into higher grades. So that's the 1952. As you can see, I got quite a lot of 1952s. 100 million, you know, very common coin. Then I have the 55. And the 1955. There you go. Same coin. Uh, 1954 is the rarest one with, I uh, believe it's one and a half million, no, one million two hundred thousand. 55 is only 15 million, so you're getting on the lower side. And these ones are probably, uh, probably lowest is about four to five dollars each. So they are getting a bit expensive. And then you have the 57. So this one has 26 million. So you're talking probably, in this condition, you're probably talking a few dollars. 
And then this condition probably a dollar or two. So that is uh, the lowest denominations I have. So that's the previous currency. And then 1964 it actually bring out a new rupiah. So here's the earliest coins I have for the new rupiah. My favorite is this one, this small 10 rupiah coin. Uh, they changed it in 74 to a bronze plated steel. You can see it's still there because this is just too small. So this lasts three years in circulation, but quite a nice coin, 10 rupiah. And we have some information on the back. You can find all that on Numista. Then we had the five rupiah that was actually a larger coin issued in 1971 here's a 74 and in 79 they reduced the size and the reverse is the same oh and i also have a 79 10 rupiah which they changed from the brass to the aluminium coin and it had the same i don't know design as the brass coin brass plate still should i say I like the actual rim on it, so that's definitely why I collect those. And then we have a bunch of other coins. Most of these are pretty high mint, like these two here, 2550 rupee had a mintage of about a billion, so very common. And you get can get them in high grades, so we've got this one here is in pretty good condition. And I've got autofocus on off should I say so that's a pretty nice coin and then you can get terrible ones like this so you just sell those as bulk lots uh, to anyone who wants them and we got the 500 rupiah that circulated in the 90s and 2000 so 2003 was the last year and then they replaced it with aluminium coin so here we have the aluminium coins. These are the current circulating coins. So this is a previous version with the birds. And then I have a whole set of current Indonesian coins for uh, $5 or something. I can reduce the price if uh, anyone wants a set of these. Uh, but these are not my favorite coins. I think that you know, they could have designed it better. These just look like cheap plastic things. So the denomination, yeah, they could have done better. And this side, what's the point of putting the head and the coat of arms on this side? You know, they should have put a head on this side and probably moved the coat of arms. I don't know. They could have put the coat of arms in between there. Just the size of the denomination and put the coat of arms in between there. Ah, uh, well, you know. Sometimes you can't win coins. And yeah, you see that. That's a stainless steel or nickel plated steel, 1,000 rupiah, worth about 10 cents. So you got one, two, five, and 10 cents. Uh, but the better versions were these bird series. So all up, up until 2016, Indonesian coins were uh, pretty good. See, large coat of arms on this side bird on that side so quite nice and then something happened i don't know maybe corruption happened and some you know, amateur got to design the actual coins so that is all the indonesian coins i have for sale uh, if you're interested you can either go to ebay or you can contact me but uh, eventually they will have to go thank you very much for watching and have an awesome coin and back note collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.